I'll have to admit, talking about politics and current events sometimes can get boring and mundane, but recently I have gotten a great deal of enjoyment from doing it, from sharing the First Lady of Florida, sharing the governor, sharing all of our leaders with the rest of the world. Nobody else is going to do it. Some people ask, Florida, Maki, why do you always talk about Florida? Well, the question kind of answers itself, don't you think? But even more enjoyable than that is dealing with a group of people on YouTube that can only be described as bless your heart worthy. They literally believe anything they read, wherever it is, as long as it kind of agrees with their psyche. Lately, they have decided to side with Jenny McCarthy with the uh, whole anti-vax movement. They've been against literally every vaccine in the history of man. So I thought, why not go ahead and indulge them for one video and show them the half-alligator, half-human found in Florida swamp? Because that's what's being alleged in Brazil. Believe it or not, we have that right here. Indigenous leaders warn of missionaries turning Amazon villages against vaccines. Now, this is not the onion. This is not made up. This is actually what's being said down there. There are people who are saying that if you get vaccinated, you'll turn into an alligator. I'll give you this link. It's Reuters. Medical teams working to immunize Brazil's remote indigenous villages against the coronavirus have encountered fierce resistance in some communities where evangelical missionaries are stoking fears of vaccines, say tribal leaders and advocates. On the São Francisco reservation in the state of Amazonas, Jamamdi villagers sent health workers packing with bows and arrows when they visited by helicopter this month, said Claudemir da Silva an Aparina leader representing indigenous communities on the Purus River, a tributary of the Amazon. So you're also standing with anti-vaxxers. You're standing with people that can't read, people that wouldn't know what a book was, what a toothbrush was. I mean, we're talking people that live like people lived 5,000 years ago. That's who you're standing with. It's It's truly one of those pop popcorn kind of moments. And I said people should do this a long time ago because this is what was going to happen. That there was just going to be this bizarro world effect that was going to take hold. And when you look at what's going on in New York with Como, you look at the Royals, you look at the uh, absolute backwards departure from reality out in California and everywhere else, these types, these leftists, are completely imploding. And that's how you know that anti-vaxxers are leftists, because leftists are activists. You see, if you truly were just against the vaccine and you didn't want to take it for yourself, which is your right, it is absolutely your right to not take it, no one would know. No one would know. Why? Because you would just not get the vaccine and you wouldn't feel the need to change anyone else's mind. This channel has reported on what the governor has done, the governor of Florida, the Florida Maki, has reported on what the governor has reported has happened. Almost four million people. But because of this one anecdote from Sweden or this one anecdote from Denmark, people believe in half alligators, half humans. And that's also how you know they're disingenuous. These are the same pe disingenuous. These are the same people. Same people that said the uh, MMR, that literally every school kid has gotten since before I was even in school. Rabies, hepatitis, chicken pox, measles, shingles, polio. They're against them all. Not this one. Not because it's untested. Not because of the emergency youth author authorization. They're against all vaccines. It's the same group of people. And that's what makes it so laughable. Now, one thing that Florida and Brazil has in common is that both 
communities value freedom greatly, and people can believe whatever they want to believe. I'm not against people believing in or not believing in this, that, or the other. But when you become an activist, when you try to foist your beliefs on other people, that's a different story. I've reported what the governor has said. I have reported what has gone on in Florida and what people in Florida have chosen to do. I'm not a virologist. I'm not a pathologist. I couldn't tell you what's in the rabies vaccine, but I can tell you this. If my kid got bit by a raccoon or a possum, guess what? They're going to go get a rabies shot. And if you say you wouldn't do that for your kid, you're lying or you're the worst parent on the planet. But you don't know what's in it. And I guarantee if you went to school and you're at least 50 years old, or if you were in the military, you've been vaccinated against a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. And those of you out there say, you know, thanks, but no. Okay, that's fine. But there are, it's a large group of people, and every time I go live talking about the governor, talking about his wife, they have to show up. They have to show up and try to push their anti-vaccine lies. Or they take limited information out of context. I mean, if you, I mean, Jenny McCarthy is clearly wearing a, a cap that's got a red cross on it, so that must mean she's a nurse. So we must listen to her. And stand with her and Maya Mbalik and Jessica Biel and uh, all the other idiots out there that are against every vaccine, every time it comes out. That's how you know they're full of it. And that's how you know it's just part of the circus that is going on right now in our governance. The only place where sanity seems to rule, and this is so ironic, is Florida. People have choice down here. We have freedom down here. In virtually every single press conference that I've covered since the 1st of March with the governor and or the first lady, multiple times within the press conference, the governor has said, the vaccine is voluntary. We're not going to have any mandates. People have volunteered. People have willingly showed up by the millions and millions. And millions and millions are fine. And that's, of course, when you say that, and anti-vax vaxxers have to hear it, the next thing they say is, well, we'll see in five years. Fine. You know what? The next time your kid or you get bit by some wild animal, why don't you wait? And see if, you know, there isn't some long-term effect to it for a rabies shot. And risk getting rabies. Why don't you see if you can enroll your kids without getting them MMRs? Measles, mumps, rubella, for those of you who don't know what MMR stands for. Try joining the military and saying, oh no, sorry. Sorry, not, not getting those vaccines. See how far that flies. How many former and active military people do you think live in Florida? And how many of them have gotten vaccines? For years, for decades. You should do some reading and educate yourself on how the polio vaccine was developed, how Jonas Salk did it at the time. And you can then talk to me about testing and all this kind of stuff. The testing standards that we have now far exceed anything that existed then, even in the EU emergency use authorization. So, but like I said, for me, it's really great because while many people um, have kind of taken issue with YouTube lately, the one thing they have done really well is they have started tracking IP addresses of people like this. So, when they create their fake accounts to uh, troll 
and to try to influence people unduly, very soon they're going to hear Police Department. You need to step outside, please. See, that's coming, troll. So, uh, sleep well. Everyone else, thank you. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.